If you're moving to Warrensburg, Missouri or PCSing to Whiteman, there are 10 things that you need to know before moving here. And if you have kids, you really are gonna wanna wait around until number one because it's a doozy. Stay tuned. Before we start, make sure that you like and subscribe down below because we put out a new video every single week about what it's like to move to Warrensburg, live in Warrensburg, sleep, eat, play in Warrensburg. And we're getting so many calls and texts and emails from people who are moving here and it's awesome. We really love hearing from you. Our contact information is also down below, so definitely give us a call. We are gonna talk about the 10 things that you need to know before moving to Warrensburg, Missouri, or PCSing to Whiteman. And I'm just gonna start with number 10. I'm gonna just roll right into it. We're gonna talk about the layout. And what do I mean by that? Well, a lot of people who are moving here don't really know where we are. Where is Warrensburg, Missouri? Where is Missouri? So I'm gonna show you first this map behind me. And Warrensburg is about not quite in the center, but it's the center west of the state of Missouri. So it's a hidden gem. And then the next thing I'm gonna talk to you guys about is where is it in relationship to a bigger city? Well, in this map, you can see that we're about 45 minutes from Kansas City. It's really not bad of a drive. And then we're about an hour and a half from Columbia and Jeff City. And there's some also really, really cool places to go down there. So if you need to get your big city fix, you can either go up to KC, or you can go over to Columbia or Jeff City, or you could drive three hours away to St. Louis. There's a secret though. There is a train that goes right up to Kansas City and right down to St. Louis. So if you really don't wanna drive, but you wanna go visit friends or go see a bigger city or go shopping, you can just hop on that train, it's an Amtrak, go up or down, and it's awesome. And you can bring cocktails. And that brings us to Warrensburg. So here's a map of Warrensburg, and I know it kind of just looks like a blob of random streets, and it kind of is, but there's a reason I'm showing you all this. So when you think about buying a home in Warrensburg, there's two great things to know. If you're going to be on the north side of Warrensburg, you can take 50 highway and it's a straight shot to Whiteman. It takes about 15 minutes. And if you buy a house in the southern part of Warrensburg, you can take DD highway and it's a straight shot to Whiteman, only 15 minutes. You should always, always, always avoid the 13th corridor, which is Highway 13 or McGuire Street, because people who don't know about Warrensburg traffic, they go on that road and they get stuck on it and it takes forever. So act like you've been here forever and take 50 or DD and you'll be good. Next, we're gonna talk about schools. I mean, everyone's favorite subject. But honestly, until I became a parent, I didn't see what the big deal was about school districts. And now, I'm never moving out of my school district because I love my son's school so much. So, a good, important thing to look into when purchasing a home in Warrensburg is what's the school district? Thankfully, all of the schools in Warrensburg are awesome. There are eight public schools and one private school. So to break that down, there's three high schools, there's one middle school, and then there's five different elementary schools. I'm sorry, there's four different elementary schools. And then there's one uh, private Christian school that is basically a, an elementary school, middle school, and a high school. Now, in the public school district, there's around 250 teachers. So there's so many teachers, there's so many paras, and they just really, really work towards helping your kids. Uh, personal experience, I have a special needs son, and the amazing, amazing faculty at uh, Maple Grove Elementary has gone above and beyond to help him with his IEP and to really work towards making sure that he can thrive in his environment. So I highly, highly recommend the Warrensburg School District. And here's a nice nugget of information. Um, when it comes to elementary schools, for example, if you are above, if you're north of Highway 50, you're gonna be in Bridgeview, uh, the Ridgeview Elementary School District. And here's a really cool map of all the different buses that go to all the routes 
if you're in the north side of town. Now, if you're in the south side of town, if you're below 50 Highway, basically, you're gonna be in the Maple Grove School District, and here are all the bus routes that go to that school. So, I know it seems a little overwhelming, but sometimes you can just pick where you wanna live versus what school district you wanna be in. So here's some info just in case that's what you wanna do. Moving on to number eight, which is sports, sporting. Um, you're in the Midwest, so we really like our sports. We like our football, we like our baseball, and we like our soccer. Um, our number one football team is gonna be the Chiefs. Uh, the Chiefs are amazing. If you have red, red articles of clothing, you're gonna get a lot of use out of them once you move to Missouri. We also love the Royals. Um, if you like baseball, there's a great, great team here. Small, well, sometimes they're great. But they're really fun to go watch. The tickets are cheap. And then if you're a soccer fan or uh, European football, as they say it, you can go watch professional soccer with the KC Sporting Team. So, lots of options when it comes to sports ball here in Missouri. Oh, and I can't forget the University of Central Missouri Mules. That's our local football team. And we go crazy in this town for some local football. Uh, if you've ever experienced homecoming in Warrensburg, Missouri, there is parades, there are people going crazy all over the streets cheering and loud noises and it's wonderful. So be prepared to support a team when you move to Morningsburg. Moving on to number seven, the always interesting and controversial base housing. So on Whiteman Air Force Base there are 890 active family units and the wait list to get into housing on Whiteman can be six months to a year long. So if that's what you want to do, you better get on the wait list early. Also, there have been quite a few reports about cleanliness issues, maintenance issues, maintenance not being taken care of in a timely manner. So that's something to think about. Also, along with their incredibly stringent pet um, issues. So basically, there are quite a few dog breeds that you cannot have on Whiteman Air Force Base, including Chows, uh, Pit Bulls, American Staffordshire Terriers, Bull Terriers. Um, there's quite an extensive list, so make sure if that's what you're going for, you read through that policy pretty thoroughly um, to make sure that your dog can be allowed to come on base. And another thing to think about um, if you're looking at base housing is that if you're moving to Warrensburg and you know that you're gonna be here for two years or more, it's a really good idea to look into buying your own home because then you can gain equity on the property when you resell it. When you live on base, they keep all of your BH, so you're not really gaining anything. And with the how the market is here in Warrensburg with just our housing market is just awesome because we have so much turnover, you're almost guaranteed to make a profit of some sort if you buy a house here. Number six, we're gonna talk about the growth at Whiteman and Nucor. What is Nucor, you ask me? Well, it is a giant steel company and they're building a $400 million plant in Sedalia. And Sedalia is about 30 minutes away from Warrensburg and Whiteman Air Force Base. So there's great expansion around this area, which are gonna boost your housing market prices. So it's good things. Also with white men, we're getting the B-21 bomber coming in soon. So we're gonna have an influx of military personnel PCSing in. That can lead to awesome things, uh, but also problems with high rents, not being able to find a house to rent. So if you're coming to Warrensburg and you're looking to rent or buy, make sure that you plan a little bit in the future so you can find exactly what you're looking for. Which leads me right into number five, which I'm sorry to say is our high rent prices. And it's just true. Um, because we're a town that has a military base and a university, we have a lot of people who wanna rent. We have a lot of students and we have a lot of military personnel. So if you wanna rent in this town, you're looking at between $650 and $900 for a one bedroom. 
for a two bedroom, you're looking at between 800, $850 and $1,000. And then for a three bedroom, you're looking, or a three bedroom house basically, or apartment, you're looking at $1,200 to $2,000. It's steep and it's not gonna change. It's not gonna go down. We just have a lot of people who like to rent here. So probably a good idea if you know you're gonna be here for two years or more, you should look into buying a home. Number four, we're on number four. We're just moving right along, it's great. Um, so next we're gonna talk about new construction. New construction sounds super daunting to some people, but it's actually really accessible and it's really fun. It's a fun process. And a little known fact is you actually can use your VA loan to build a home. There's a little bit of a catch to it though. So you cannot use your VA loan to just go out and purchase a piece of land by itself. Um, that won't work. What you can do though, is you can use your VA loan to purchase a plot of land in a subdivision, for example, and then assign that plot to a builder. And then when the house is built, you can close on the house and the land simultaneously all at once. Sounds daunting, but it's not. It's actually really easy and it's really simple. Now the reason though that you cannot just close on a random piece of land uh, that you find is because you'll create a cloudy title and that just won't work. So if you want to build your house, your dream house, absolutely doable. You just need to find a realtor who's gone through the process, who knows what they're doing, who knows builders in the area and has a good relationship with them so that you can get that process started and then go from beginning to end, picking out paint colors and tiles and all that fun stuff. It's really fun actually. Um, you'll have a brand new house. It's very important though, this process does take time. So you wanna start between eight months to a year out from when you expect to arrive. So you need to be contacting a realtor within a year of when you know that you're PCSing out. There you go, build a new house. Now we're gonna talk about number three, uh, which is a lovely secret that I'm sharing with everyone. It's basically how to get your pet to Warrensburg um, if your house doesn't have a fence and how to have your loan paid for it. So I'm gonna tell a story. Um, I have a wonderful couple as clients and recently, they are currently, actually not recently, they're currently purchasing a duplex here in Warrensburg. In the beginning they wanted to get a house with land, but then they realized that it would be much more uh, financially responsible to purchase a duplex, live in one side and then rent out the other so that they could save money for their dream house with land and then later buy that problem though is that they had two 40 pound dogs, two big dogs, and the property didn't have a fence. Well, there's a solution to this. You can actually uh, have a fence paid for through your VA loan as long as it meets certain criteria. So what we did is uh, first we found the duplex and it was a for sale by owner and we found it like $30,000 under market value, which was amazing. Um, so they got this duplex worth $260 for $230. And then we found an awesome fencing company. We had them give us an invoice for exactly what they would need and what would meet the VA loan stringent um, necessary guidelines for the fence. We then took that invoice to the lender and he wrapped it into the financing so that when the house closes, even if the fence isn't done, that's okay. The, when the fence is done, it will be inspected by an appraiser and that money is then released from escrow and the fencing company is paid, the buyers have a fence, the dogs are happy, it all works out in the end. So if you're moving to Warrensburg or you're PCSing to Whiteman and you have pets and you find a property that will work except it doesn't have a fence, there is a solution. You just have to get a good realtor who knows what they're doing and can find the loopholes for you. Down to number two, and if you're like me and your kids are super important, well I hope everyone's kids are super important, but um, one thing that may concern you is finding out uh, about the pediatricians in Warrensburg. Is there a birthing center? Um, and the answer to those questions are yes. 
So number two is the pediatricians, the pharmacies, and the uh, women's health clinic here in Warrensburg. Warrensburg, Missouri has an amazing, amazing, amazing labor and delivery group at uh, Western Missouri Medical Center. They're highly ranked in the state of Missouri. I've personally had both of my children there. My sister has had both of her children there. My sister-in-law has all of her children there. They're amazing. They were just fully remodeled a couple years ago. So the whole entire center is just gorgeous. And the staff is hands down best I've ever been around. The doctors are amazing, the nurses are amazing. So, if you are pregnant and you're moving to Warrensburg or you're PCSing to Whiteman, I highly, highly, highly recommend um, the Western Missouri Medical Center, Women's Health Center, and the Labor and Delivery Group. They're awesome. Um, when it comes to pediatricians, there's three groups here in Warrensburg. There's Building Blocks Pediatric, there's Whistle Stop Pediatric, and then there's Dr. Lawnwork. And if you're on base, there's also some pediatricians there as well. So there's lots of options. Um, there's four different pharmacies in Warrensburg. I know this sounds like, why is she telling me this? But seriously, when you have a sick kid, you want to know what pharmacy is open late. So there's Summer's Pharmacy, not open late, but amazing. They flavor all of their kids' medicine there. So if you have a nasty medicine your kid has to take, take it to Summers or get, get it sent to Summers Pharmacy because they flavor it all and they're the only pharmacy in town that does it. But then there's CVS, they're open late, there's Walgreens, open late, and then there's Walmart Pharmacy. Um, none of them are 24 hours though, so definitely keep that in mind. If you need a 24 hour pharmacy, you're gonna have to drive up to Lee Summit or Independence. And we're down to number one. The number one thing that you need to know when moving to this town, if you have children, is there are 10 daycares in Warrensburg. And all of them are full, all the time. Literally all the time. There is a wait list for each one that ranges from three months to a year. So, if you're moving here, you need to get on the wait list if you have kids. They're all amazing. Honestly, my kids have been to multiple, um, just because I have a very large extended family. We try to all keep our kids uh, at the same daycares. And with a special needs child, I had to find a very specific daycare for that to happen at. But they're all really great. Um, they're all well-maintained. There's great outdoor activities. They have lots of teachers, and some of them are Montessori-based. So, when moving to Warrensburg or PCSing to Whiteman, you really need to make sure if you have kids that you get on a wait list. Get on lots of wait lists. I recommend getting on every single wait list on this list because then they're all great. So one of them's gonna call you by the time you get here and you'll have a spot for your kiddo. But there you go, there's my list. Top 10 things you need to know about Warrensburg, Missouri when you're moving here or PCSing to Whiteman. I hope you like this video. Make sure that you like and subscribe down below because there's a little button down there that gets uh, gives you a notification every time we make a video. And we make a video every single week. And also, we get tons of people calling us and emailing us, texting us who are moving here that maybe want more information or need help with something and we love it. So don't stop doing that. We love hearing from you. Our contact information is down below. Have a good one.